Amjad Bashir, uh, UKIP's new MEP for Yorkshire and the Humber, or Yorkshire and North Lincolnshire, as I know you like to, to call it. Um, a bit of background about your work. What have you been doing up till now, until you became an MEP, and where's your interest going to be for the next five years? Well, I came to England as a young boy in 1959-1960 from the Indian subcontinent, from a young country which was, had just been born from Pakistan. So I learnt all my English upon arrival in uh, Bradford, West Yorkshire. That's where I've lived for, a last, uh, for the large part of my life. That's where I studied, went to university to do a degree in Chem Eng. And for the last 40 years, I've pursued a career in business. Uh, and it was only a few years ago that I decided that uh, politics was uh, something that I needed to go into because I found a lot of uh, roadblocks in the development of my business. And when I did the research, I found that it was increasingly EU legislation that was preventing my business and other businesses from growing. And I thought that uh, we needed to tackle that. And then I did a lot of research into which parties resonated with my views. And UKIP was the one that was willing to fight uh, against uh, the EU legislation and m bring more sovereignty the, to the country I loved, which was Great Britain, and, and protect its citizens from mass un un uncontrolled immigration, take our control of our own borders, and that's the party that, that I embraced, and uh, that's the party I represent now in the European Parliament. You mentioned barriers for business. Do you think that's going to be one of the focuses of your work uh, now you're out here as an MEP? Yes, I think it is. I think it's right that now that I'm here, I relay uh, to my constituents in Yorkshire and uh, North Lincolnshire, in particular the businesses, uh, that uh, what hurdles there are, how to overcome them, how to see them in advance so that they can best prepare for them, uh, and, and also persuade them that the best course of action is to leave the EU, uh, then that will provide more jobs for our, our communities in Yorkshire and North Lincolnshire, because I think once we leave the EU, we as a nation will go farther uh, in realising our dreams of becoming more and more successful, trading with the rest of the world. I have a unique angle, as, you, as I said earlier, because I come from the subcontinent, uh, uh, the Indian subcontinent, therefore, you know, the old Commonwealth. And I realise that there's a lot of trade and business to be done with, uh, with these people. These economies are surging ahead. Uh, their GDP grows by 7%, whereas uh, in, in, uh, in Europe, uh, our GDP is diminishing. In 1980, it was 30% of the world. Now it's 20%. In a few years, it's projected to fall down to 15%. Therefore, you know, these are some of the reasons that we need to pull away and chart our own future. You mentioned, um, or some of your UKIP colleagues have, have mentioned that there's kind of two kinds of UKIP MEPs. There are those that are that come to Brussels and Strasbourg and they take a very active role in, in being what they call the, the eyes and the ears uh, on behalf of their constituents. And there are those that uh, reject um, coming here and they will not very often be in Brussels and Strasbourg. Which camp are you in? How frequently are you planning to be in the European Parliament? Uh, I think I've, I've mentioned already which camp I'm in. I am of a business background, therefore I'm keen to learn about uh, business legislation and inform that to, to the business community back in uh, Yorkshire and North Links. Uh, I do also respect that the sovereignty of Great Britain is paramount. Uh, I do not subscribe to uh, the EU as a body that, uh, that I look up to. Uh, I will attend Parliament, I will uh, when my party says that I need to be there to vote, that's going to have a meaningful uh, presence, that when I vote will um, have a result that we want to achieve, then I will be there. I want to play an active part. I've been a very active member uh, in the business community. I'm not one of those that uh, you know, likes to delegate responsibility. I would like to play a part, a meaningful part.